Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today with another Ark Survival Evolved video on Scorched Earth. Uh, today I did find, I think it's a cave. Uh, so I flew back home, I geared up, and I thought I'd bring you guys along for my first impression of this cave. Or, um, yeah, let's call it first impression. So it's all the way out here. Uh, like at the end of the river, out right out river inside of this church ruin thing could be a church could be something different i cleared out the scorpions which were in here already and now i'm hoping i'll do well i'm hoping that the scorpions don't respawn while i'm in there it would suck to lose my high level archer which nearly is at the 200 percent movement speed to grab a wavernick which i'm still going for so you come down here, you can duck under this thing here. I guess that's that you can't bring in any mounts. That would be my guess. Yes, I crafted up a shield. I did not go any further than this. So I know this bend and then I decided to go back home. Grab all my stuff so I can show you guys. So I'm wondering what I will find in here. You see I brought a pike. Uh, Got a few arrows with me for my crossbow. I got a sword, which I got from when I killed a mantis for the polymer. And I'm a bit afraid here. Would be nice if you could open doors like that. I like the crack here where the sun comes in. I wonder if you could see that from the outside. Probably should look afterwards. It's a pretty good, good lit cave in my opinion. And there we have our first enemies. What kind are like the normal onyxes? And there is a mantis. Great level. Okay, the mantis is just level 16. I was going to say great, the level 88 mantis. I'm already dead. So let's see if I can hit like a, a single bat and the mantis won't attack. Would be great. That one missed completely. I'm um, sorry that I don't have any sound. I don't know what is broken there. I'd rather not hit the mantis, but I guess I will hit the mantis. Nope. I did hit something. Oh, luckily it was a bat. And just imagine the sound of the... of the... Uh, whoops. Of the fighting here. Um, if I check, change to five, I can actually block that shit stuff. Uh, the sword is actually doing quite a damage here. I think that was the last one. Yes, it was. I'm doing okay. Could do better. Was one of those things level 88? Oh, yeah, it was. Uh, I probably should have crafted up some healing potions. Of course, I did not think about that, because why would I? <clears throat> I'm actually going to quickly try to fix my sound, guys. I'll be right back. And I'm back, and I apparently can't fix the sound in the in, uh, in the options menu. I guess I need to log out and need to log back in, but that's going to take a while, because you all know my internet is pretty crappy, and I'd rather play for a little bit longer before I have to log out. And might not be able to log in today again. So I'm going to try to hit this mantis over there. Which apparently I can't do. Come on. I really not able to hit that damn mantis. Ooh crap. I didn't saw the acid spitters down there. And uh, they wreck your armor like nothing else. If the spit hits you, it's goodbye armor. You see, that is my armor gone. Uh, how about five? I think I killed one of it. Oh yeah, I did. 
What? I passed out because of the poison. Uh, still going up. <laughs> and that's going to be my end. Yeah. Level 69. Arthroplura. I should have brought the sleeping back. That would have been the smart decision. Of course, I did not. <laughs> so, well, um, yeah, I'm gonna grab my stuff and then I do uh, the relogging of of the uh, of the game and bring you guys back again with some sound, hopefully. So I'll be right back. And I'm back, and I did something I haven't done for a long, long time. It's actually a day later, or actually two days later, since I last recorded. Uh, that's why I have a different level and everything. I still haven't managed to get to level 51, unfortunately. But I came back, I built a tent, uh, I brought a tent, and I built a sleeping bag, and put the sleeping bag in here. Uh, I did grab a couple of... I actually put those into my RG. Um, you just saw in my inventory, I can show you again, I crafted some fire arrows, which are amazing. I killed my own Procoptodon with just one shot of those guys. When I encountered two Karnas which were attacking me, and I was strafing around and firing on the Karnas, and the Karna was uh, biting on my Procoptodon, and uh, the second to last arrow actually hit my uh, Procoptodon and killed it right away. And the last arrow finally killed the... Um, what we call it, the uh, Karna. I also crafted a compound bow and some metal arrows and I get a flamethrower in a drop and I could, nicely enough from Scriptar, I could use his chemistry bench to actually use it to grab um, the, f the ammo for it. <clears throat> so we probably, sh I sh probably should load all my stuff. So with a fire arrow here, and also load my compound bow, and the flamethrower is still good. The flamethrower also something very very nice. Uh, it does a lot of damage. I mean, and I mean a lot. And so far, I don't really need to gamma up. Well, actually, I'm going to gamma up. Gamma 2.5, so you guys can see a little better. I mean, I see pretty good. How much damage we are going to do to this bat, if we are going to hit the bat. 200 damage with a metal arrow. And if we switch to, whoops, and if we switch to our, oh, I forgot the shield and, I forgot the shield, damn it. I knew I, forget, I will forget something eventually. Uh, last time there were a couple of, whoa, this time there is a giant boa, snaky. Now it's burning. <laughs> Look at the damage wrecking up here. I love the fire arrows for that. Oh, I'm stuck on something. On what I'm stuck? Ah, I was stuck on this rock. And it's already dead, which is nice. I could harvest it, but I don't know what for. Can I hit that thing up there? Probably not, huh? Really would like to hit the mantis there. Now I did hit the mantis. Whoa! Uh, which is it? Which is it? Eight is it? I think the mantis already died. Yes, it did. That's cool. <laughs> there is not a mantis coming in though. And the mantis burned. Just need to be careful so you don't step into the fire, otherwise it hurts you quite a bit as well. Rock elemental? In a cave? That's no fair. Can I harvest this crystal? I can't. How am I supposed to get past this guy? Oh, look at that. There is... Whoa. You're still throwing rocks at me? You are a mean, mean person. That didn't do nothing. Ow! That hurt. So, the fire arrows don't really impress him. How about metal arrows? Metal arrows actually do some damage to him. And luckily that saved me there. 
Well, I don't know. I might be able to take him down here. I don't really think so. I don't think I have enough arrows for that. Oof. What level are you, my friend? Or, well, actually, not friend. Level... What was it? Level 80? 28? What level are you? Level 20? <laughs> And keep on firing my arrows. I don't think the flamethrower will do anything against him because the flaming arrow already don't do anything against him. And I like this spot. It's actually tight enough so he can't get his stones through. But if I use all my arrows and I can't down this guy, uh, I'm going to go out to the cave again because then I need explosives and the rocket launch and stuff like that. Well, it doesn't really make a difference if I aim or... I, well, it does kind of make a difference. Ooh. Okay, if I hit the head, I do 28 damage. If I hit anywhere else, I do 27 or 22 damage. So far, I'm lucky he didn't hit me with a rock. Well, he did once, but... Managed to shrug that off, kind of. You can't get me, you can't get me. Come on. If I use all the f all the iron metal arrows I have on that guy, I definitely have to go back out of the cave because I don't have the material. Well, uh, if, if he dies and I have a couple arrows left, I continue as far in as possible. Yeah, screw you. Come on. How much health do you have? Does he look bloody or crackly to you guys? I think I might be... Ooh. Ouch! So I need to eat a little bit to heal up again. I should have created some healing potions. Come on, get down. Well, to the Arctaf, in my opinion, it's not fair that there is a golem in a cave. <laughs> And keep on firing. I'm down to 20 arrows. What I will do, or will try when I'm out of arrows, I will run up with the flamethrower to try to give him a little short burn and see if that does anything to him or not. But the fire arrows doesn't, didn't seem to impress him. So my guess is I won't. it won't hurt him also with the flamethrower. I guess he will be fire resistant. It's just a guess, I don't know. But we will see in six arrows, in five arrows actually. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, that's been it for the, for the metal arrows. Switch one more time to the fire arrows to check if they really don't do any damage. They really don't. And uh, now, oops, yep. That doesn't hurt him or impresses him. But he hit me again quite hard. So yeah, that's no point to continue if I don't have a rocket launcher with explosives or anything to get in there. Or get, uh, how do we call it? Get uh, grappling hooks and just swing over there and shoot down there. And Yeah, but uh, it's interesting. I didn't know that there, go there were golems in this cave. With the fire arrows and the metal arrows and the flamethrower, it was quite easy to get this far as we were. Gamma down again before I forget. And I have caps lock activated. Not anymore, right? Nope, now, yeah. Gamma. And we are going to fly back home. So the Procoptodon at my base is my third Procoptodon so far. Because, like I told you, um, the other got killed uh, twice already so far, and one of them I killed with my, with the flaming arrow. But the flaming arrows, nevertheless, are a good thing to have. I'm very, very close to level 85. Well, not very close, but I'm level 84. I just turned 84, actually. Then I can build my own chemistry bench, and then I go and grab a ton of sulfur, and going to try it out. Um... And also, I'm expanding my base, and I would like to rebuild my hut. 
my shitty starter hut to look a little bit nicer, like, I don't know, like a little house or something. Um, I mean, Mortuary, who also plays on the server, uh, let's, the Let's Talk Gaming channel has a great idea, which he will start on soon. Uh, also, Scripter's base looks amazing. Uh, I actually could fly over it, just to show you from the air. Nah, I don't know, he, ha he, has, he has done some stuff and I'm not, I don't want to spoil anything. Well, I actually probably wouldn't spoil anything because this video is going to be up in about a week or two. Thanks to my great internet. Still bitching about that, I know. Yeah, let's show you the base of Scriptar. He is in my direct neighborhood, uh, in my vicinity. And yeah, uh, I asked in Discord, uh, we are all in Discord, uh, in, a, in a chat there. Uh, if I could use anybody's chemistry bench, and they said, yeah, you, I'm very close to you, come over. Uh, and I told you, you can use it. But I'd rather ask one, one too many times than not ask at all. He just also got a, a, a golem, a stone golem, uh, which the one we just fought in the cave. You see him there rendering in. Oh, he got a rex. I didn't think believe he's, I saw the rex last time. And yeah, I, look at that. It's very nicely built. Uh, it looks a little bit like a castle with the two behemoth gates on each gates on each side, and then this area here for little housing. And over there, a couple of dinos. Not that much actually, but it's more than enough. He actually has a mantis already. You should really check out his video where he uh, Bowden and Mortuary killed some death worms in order to get the horns, in order to tame up. The mantises. Mantis? Mantis. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the, let's call it, just call it mantis. And let's check out our eagle here. Eagle still needs about 30% more speed, which is about 15 more levels. Uh, before I can try another run at the wyvern egg. Because I would like to be at the plus 200 speed. And yeah, I did enclose my base a little bit more. I know it looks really crappy, but I had to because my Deodicarus always kept wandering out when he was on wandering to collect stone. And it looks like he wandered out again because I can't really see him anywhere. Really? Where the hell did you go, Dodi? Where are you, Deodicarus? Well, I don't know. I guess I have to look for him. Oh, there will be another metal rock down there. What was the Yankee? 12. Not worth my time. And there is the Yankee. Well, it's not mine. Where the hell did he go? Well, anyway, guys. Uh, that means I have to look for my Yankee again. Uh, not my Yankee, my, my Dodic. There he is. Found him. <laughs> so he is at least still in the base. So he can't get out anymore. That's good. Because the whole afternoon and every time, I mean, I, I had time to play, but uh, just kind of not record when I have construction workers in the house. Uh, it's kind of hard to filter out, uh, like, big machines drilling holes and, uh, like, electronic picks or mechanized picks to get away, get, get destroy concrete and stuff. But anyway, guys, yeah. Whoops. <clears throat> but anyway guys, like I said, that's going to be the end of this video. Unfortunately, we couldn't get any further into the cave because I'm not ready enough. I definitely need a rocket launcher or a couple of rocket launchers with a couple of explosives, maybe some grenades. I'm not quite sure yet. I'll craft that stuff up and we are going to try that out in another episode again. But for this today, that's going to be it. If you did like the video, please hit the like button. You always can subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the video description. And like always, guys, one more time, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.